I have great news. As you can probably tell, I am currently standing in what used to be the candy shop and the stars have aligned. And as long as they stay aligned, my contractor slash real estate partner should be out here next week and we can finally start working on this house. It's been a really long time coming. A lot of you guys have been asking me for updates. Uh, we have not done anything really uh, to the house since I bought it like three years ago uh, and I have been dying to get things done. So I am very, very happy to tell you guys that. Uh, and I will definitely be keeping you guys updated. This is how small the candy shop used to be, if you remember, if you watched from the basement days. Now you can see this is where the little hole used to be, where Karen could come out here and she could see all the customers uh, and then know when to come out and actually ring them up. This is one of the old cash registers, actually. Oh, <laughs> really good lights. Mostly just gonna be replacing the floor, doing like patching up some drywall, some painting. So it's, it's gonna be like relatively basic stuff because I am gonna be basically fixing it up for a landlord to buy. So, you know, if I were to go above and beyond and do like quartz countertops or something, that would kind of just be like a waste of money for me. There's that. I just really wanna update you guys about that. Um, another thing, I have been seeing um, comments of people still asking like where Cooper is. Um, and Cooper and Taylor also just both don't work at Hercules anymore. They haven't worked here for a couple months now. I mentioned it in a live stream, but I also understand that not everybody saw that. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it at that just out of respect for their privacy because we have a lot of people that just come and go, um, which is pretty normal in this industry, especially in businesses where people just kind of see candy making as like a job, they don't necessarily see it as a career. Uh, you know, not everybody wants to ship candy for the rest of their lives. Um, so, you know, we'll just leave it at that. But we do have a company that we have been working with for a while. Basically, Scott will shoot videos and then he'll send it to them and then they will edit and post on our behalf on Facebook. And sometimes they will post some old videos and sometimes we'll have like Cooper or Greg in those videos. So if you see those videos, just know that they're not working here again. Those are just like some old videos. And we have also recently signed a contract with them. So they will be, they're basically been helping us post shorts. So if you see shorts all the time, that's them. They're basically posting like daily shorts for us, uh, which has been really helpful with helping the channel grow. But this is just in addition to our normal content. We're not ever gonna stop doing the longer form videos like this one. Um, I know that recently it seems like we haven't been posting as much, but if you've been following us for a long time, then you already know it's just because this is our busy season. So with our busy season, we just have so many orders as it is that it's just so hard to keep up with, especially since we only have three candy makers. Uh, who knows, maybe next year we'll have, try to have like four or something like that. Um, I feel like I tried to turn this light on. Oh, maybe I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I just noticed it was dark in here. But I just wanted to let you guys know that we're not planning on doing any less content. We're actually only planning on doing more because this company is helping us with just posting more stuff. And like I said, they've been helping us for years, uh, like about two years, I think, with posting stuff on Facebook. And that just really frees me up to spend as much time as I can on this YouTube channel. So like I said, it's not going anywhere. Uh, just because you're seeing a lot of shorts and less long form videos, it's really just because it's the busy season and you're just getting these videos in addition to what you would normally be getting. And uh, a couple months ago, we started a new ASMR channel. So that also is in addition to what we're normally doing just because uh, because we can only post like maybe one or two videos a week because we got so many orders, uh, especially during the busy season, I still have enough time to start posting other videos. So I've been working on an ASMR channel. We probably post like two times a month or so on there, maybe three, four. Um, so if you really like the candy making process, I know some people don't like as much the talking. So that's what the ASMR channel is for. And people have commented on the ASMR channel saying that they really like us talking. Um, but that's what the ASMR channel is for. It's for not talking. This channel, we're always gonna be talking, so don't worry about that. Uh, the normal videos are not going anywhere. I've just seen a lot of people, I know I keep reiterating this, but a lot of people seem to be very worried about that. Um, so just don't worry about that. But let's go see what they're making today at Hercules. What are you doing, man? Craig, I don't have time for this. I gotta get this TPS report up to corporate or I'm gonna be in big trouble oh, again. No. Like I have to do it in triplicate, so I have to do this three times. Oh, wow. Otherwise, you're, they're gonna tell your mom? Yeah, I don't need trouble like that. She already said I can't have any dessert this week at all, so. Jeez, a little. <sighs> a tough week for me, a really tough week. So if you could just spare a couple seconds, what's going on today? <sighs> okay, today is Saturday, so your pa is doing, making a batch of cream, and making milk potato chip bark, and then he's going to do some Valentine's mold, some Edible heart boxes. We need about nine million of those. <laughs> and then Tyler is going to be washing molds and putting away creams and caramels 
and he's going to take the cream out of the cream beater so it'll be ready to make cream. That's everything I know. And have you guys been very busy recently with the Valentine's orders? Valentine's orders, yes, are definitely picking up. Yesterday we got slammed because we were foolish enough to make hard candy and put it on the website. Oh, Jeez, a little. That's crazy. probably why you had to write this TPS report for corporate, huh? Yes. Explaining I, your blunder. I literally had, I was getting an order a minute for about 40 minutes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> and so I left here. I took those home with me so I could do the markup and the highlighting. And mm -hmm. I got home. So by the time I got home, I'd gotten like another 12 orders. So I was like, oh, I'm going to handle That's still this almost like an order a minute for you to drive yeah. home. <laughs> so this morning when I got up and I went to my orders, it hadn't changed from last night. It's like I didn't get a single other order after 8 p.m. That's weird. Yeah. I refreshed it. Nothing. Refreshed it again. Nothing. I was like, okay, I guess I'll eat breakfast. This is really weird. And then I was like, wait a minute. I signed out, signed back in. Oh, I got 44 more orders. <laughs> I guess Shopify was not awake yet. <laughs> 44. So it's a good thing I didn't just be like, I got a little extra time today. I don't. Yeah. Nope. So that's why we haven't been posting very many videos because things have been very, very People busy. buying here. stuff. We no, make it, the they buy it. How this, I mean, they? I guess as a business plan, I guess that's what you're after in yeah, business. There are worse problems to have. Oh, yeah. I don't consider it a problem. I consider <laughs> it a, a feature of my life. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to your triplicate TPS report, so then hopefully Mom will let you have dessert next week. I know. Cause like I said, I have to do this three times. I need a triplicate. All right. Good luck. Thank you. You too. How often have you been having to make bark recently? Uh, about three times a week. Each bark? Or different bark? Oh, different bark. Yeah. yeah. Cookie think? bark, potato chip, or peanut butter potato chip bark, and then regular potato chip bark, and almond sea salt bark. Yeah, we haven't been able to keep uh, this really in stock, even the potato chip bark, let alone the actual potato chips covered in chocolate. Yeah, potato chips we're probably never going to have stock of those. <laughs> Unless uh, this summer, I think we probably will. Yeah, maybe. In the summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but people come in, like, even during Christmas because they want the potato chips. Yeah. Um, all we had was the bark, and even then, sometimes we didn't have that. But it's just very, very popular. Um, I saw a TikTok recently of someone reacting to this. They're, I think, like a British person. And they were just like, what in the U.S. of A. is happening here? Oh, yeah. The, I think they, they just thought like the combo of chocolate and potato chips was a very American thing. But everyone in the comments was assuring her that it's really good. People that have never had it before I think, wow, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Until they try it. And, and then you try it. And it's okay, like, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should move the table, huh? Yeah, you should have moved. <laughs> this used to be a bigger place. <laughs> they shrunk, huh? Yeah. Hey, quiet down over there. Trying to make a video. Sorry. <laughs> Were you trying to work or something? <laughs> what? What are you doing? You just um, let your employees walk around? Nothing. What kind of place is this? <laughs> Go really slow. What's uh, what are you going slow for? I'm getting stuck. Mm. It's thick and cold. And yeah, it stops me, so I have to push harder. We have to go on some drag. Yeah. Park. Yeah. Yeah. This gets the table must be really cold. I didn't think the temperature of the table was probably like 67. Mm. That's like one time. <laughs> In here, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
close to what we keep our house at. 67. Yeah. And it's warm enough. Yeah. I When I sleep, I often keep my house like 64 because yeah, I'll I like it. 67, I'll like wake up sweating. I like it cooler <laughs> when, it's, when you're yeah. sleeping especially. Yeah. Well, I know you said this place uh, shrunk recently. First three weeks that we even moved in here in 2018, did you feel like you could even fill the space? Oh, yeah. I th- thought, wow, this is really too big. Yeah. We're like, oh, man, maybe we should get a smaller space. Yeah. And then, like a month in... What were you thinking? So glad we got a much bigger place than we thought. Yeah. Because we were looking at smaller places that were only 2,000 square feet. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would have been really too small. Yeah. This is almost 4,000 square feet. Yeah. So, Still. Well, we got lucky when we got this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you already got it filled up? Well, yeah. I had the truck was getting cold. Oh, yeah? So I had to put some warm in there. How are you liking the new and rubber? Yeah, I like it. It's nice. It's it's um, a little smaller and it's easier to maneuver. Like easier to move around the room? Yeah. Oh, does it not vibrate on both sides? Oh, it does, but this side's got the motor on it, so this does more. See how oh, it, it vibrates more than this. Is, this does too, but this one's hard. Huh. You know, and with the motor over here, it's. Okay, now I'm going to flip them to make them hollow. Oh, that's a nice little uh, thing they got there. Yeah, isn't it? Wow, they really made this and then used it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, for anyone wondering, can you explain why you're just doing the one side? Well, because if I do these, then they'll be hollow. That's, those are the tops. Hmm. Wait, what so if you just filled them right now? Because you already hollowed out uh, the... No, because I want to vibrate them to make sure they get the oh. air bubbles out and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I have to wait till they dry and then come back and fill the tops. Oh, okay. Because then if you were to vibrate it now, would it kind of like mess with like... Then it would make the uh, the the hollow ones just go right, fill right in. Oh, okay. It wouldn't be hollow anymore. So like the sides wouldn't be... Yeah, no more sides. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, have you done this before? Mm, no, it's my first time. Oh, okay. Maybe just like, you read a <laughs> lot of books before your first day? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> books on candy making. How to. How to. I went to the library. So Oops. now you're doing oh, the tops? I, yeah, oh, I, <laughs> I filled the wrong one. Uh, I distracted you, huh? Nope. Oh, well. Yeah, filled the wrong one. <laughs> I was looking at it, but it didn't look like that was the one. Yeah, I thought for a second maybe you're just doing the tops for this one. <laughs> nope. There, just now, I was just thinking, like, oh, wait, why isn't he fin- filling up this one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is this much different than using the, the old rubber for molds? No, not really. It's about the same? Yeah. Other than that little, nice little, uh, what do you call this thing? Um, the wiper? <laughs> dough cutter? The, the squeegee? <laughs> Yeah. It's like the stationary squeegee? Yeah, kind of. How, uh, how many of these are you going to do today? Nine million of those? Um, we need at least 50. Yeah. So we'll see how many I get done. This one, you step on it here. Step on the pedal? Okay. Let go. Step on it. Oh, so you don't get chocolate everywhere when you're trying to fill up the funnel? Yeah. So just stop the flow real quick? Yep. Chocolate's a little cold and not using it fast enough. Oh yeah? That's why it's so thick. Mm-hmm. So is this easier to um, put this part vertical, the belt over here, than, uh, than the previous one? Oh uh, yeah, the other one stayed across, stayed upright. Mm-hmm. And then this one doesn't stay upright at all. Oh, so before it would just balance like that if you moved it, and this yeah. one does. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one doesn't. Hmm. Interesting. So there was a little bit of wet chocolate there, so I put paper down to catch it underneath all, it. Yeah. So I don't have to clean the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fill her up. Press the pedal. So does it stop the flow whenever you press it? 
Yeah. Or does it stop it for a certain amount of time? No, I just hold it as long as I want. Oh, okay. Until your foot gets tired? Huh? Huh? What? I said until your foot gets tired? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, here's one. The one that we accidentally filled in. <laughs> yeah, this one by mistake just pops out. I mean, that pops out nice and easy at least. It's not perfect, so I can't really use it. Yeah. So we'll just drop it in there. <laughs> How long does it take? It'll melt. It'll just go around in circles. <laughs> Yeah, when you're filling it right on the vibration table, it's very, it just goes, yeah, spreads right out. It's good. Very cool looking. Good work, Dad. Only 3,000 more to go today. <laughs> and then you can go home after knocking yourself out with the fridge. Thanks. <laughs> When did you guys start using this uh, fancy, fancy spatula? Oh, I love it. It's hard and um, easy to... <laughs> hard, but also rubbery and... <laughs> what? Well, it doesn't bend. Okay. Like the other one. All right. Why are you laughing so much? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. This. I just smells peanut buttery. Hope so. Do you like peanut butter and chocolate? Yeah. Who does it? Um. You but Jim, Jimmy doesn't like it, right, Leah? Like what? Peanut butter and chocolate? No, not really. Yeah, what a weirdo. Oh, yeah. She still decided to marry him. A little bit fell there, but not on it. Oh, okay. That's what matters, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's very sticky, isn't it? <laughs> How long have you guys been making these for? Years. You guys make them like your first year? 1902. Yeah. You started in 1902, 02? right? Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Mm hmm. So you don't want to have it too full because then it'll overflow okay. and leak out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do another one or wrap? Let's wrap it. Okay. Of course it goes in red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you ever do them in any other colors? Yeah, if it's dark, we do it in purple. And if it's crunchy peanut butter, we do it in a heart. Um, foil. It has oh, like it's on. silver with like red hearts. Yeah. I think I've seen that one before. We don't like to show the silver. But this is the most popular one, right? The most popular. The milk with a oh. smooth peanut butter. Yes, most popular. Everybody likes the smooth. Oh my gosh. This and lightly. Shiny. Yeah, it's a smooth label that goes on the back so they can tell that it's smooth. You're a smooth operator, smooth Karen. Smooth operator. Look at all I gotta do. What else are you doing today? 
Oh, we got vegan ones. Oh, yeah, vegan ones too? Yeah, oh, cool. I think it's all right here. But the same thing? Oh, okay. They're nice. dark? Yep. All right. Vegan. Mm hmm. Gotta have those. Mm hmm. Julia. The only way you can try this is if you do it on camera with a review. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is this a gift? <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift for the viewers. All right. I mean, you gotta, I gotta really twist your arm to do this anyway, so. No, is there peanut butter in here? I don't know. It's a peanut butter heart. <laughs> These are so cute. I know that you're the biggest peanut butter chocolate fan here, so. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Look, it's like a little spoon. So that's what you do, you take the top off mm -hmm. and then scoop it. <laughs> Phenomenal. Do you recommend? Yeah, look how cute it is. <laughs> and it has peanut butter. It's the best thing ever. So these are some other packages that my mom is working on shipping right now. I'm not gonna show too much of these. I'm just gonna move around like this so you don't see all their personal information. But these are the UPS packages that are gonna be shipped out. These are the FedEx packages that are going to be shipped out, and these are more of the UPS packages that are going to be shipped out. And then we have <laughs> these lovely ladies working on some other orders. These are all orders that need to be put together, and I'm trying not to get too close so I don't give out anyone's personal information. But Caitlin is nice enough to remember to fold over the other side of the paper. Yep. So then Jake has to do a lot less editing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Um, so what's in this order though? So we got lots of good stuff. We got some berry cherry creams, we got some orange hard candy filled with ch white chocolate, a couple different hard candy flavors, and some flarks. Have you had all the stuff over here? Um, most of it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have a favorite of the stuff they ordered? Definitely the bark. Yeah? I think the potato chip bark. The wow. sweet and salty, you can't, can't go wrong. No. Can't beat it. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was actually saying earlier in this video that there's a lot of people who will hear about it the first time mm -hmm. and be like, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. But then once they try it, they're like, Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? I was wrong. Trust me. It's worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hopefully this will get to them all intact. That yeah. looks like pretty, pretty safe. Yeah. Did you ever have to do that um, project in high school where you have to like try to protect an egg or something when you, when you drop it? I feel like it kind of rings a bell. Like I feel like. Like, we'd play catch with an egg with spoons oh, really? or something, but it wouldn't work out well. It was like an elementary school. I think I mean, it was a scam. I think it was in like, <laughs> was a scam. Did you lose money? Uh, teachers, just lost my dignity. Your teachers had to invest in it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think it was in like eighth grade. We had to like make something that would hold an egg and then drop it. And then oh. if it uh, didn't have the egg crack, then you passed. That sounds... I do remember that. Do you remember that? Yeah, I was with Mr. Faye's class in 8th grade. Huh. Yeah. I feel like that's on, like, TV shows, too. Mm -hmm. of, yeah, like, yeah, sure. yeah, but we actually did it, Was too. that, like, a tech class? No, this was a science class. Oh. Leah, did you have to do that? Yeah. Um, in 8th grade, we had, with Mr. Faye, um, okay. uh -huh. we had to uh, create some sort of contraption that would make dropping an egg not break. Oh, yeah. You did that? Yeah, I can't remember what I did, but I remember doing it. <laughs> yeah. I want to say I used part of like a Nerf ball or something like that for the say. cushion. Like a Nerf? Like what do you mean a Nerf ball? A Nerf ball? So like, I don't know if they still have them, but you would be able to like put off like a little basketball hoop on your like bedroom door. Oh yeah, had, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was like, yep, I, like, I cut, know. Yeah, I cut like halfway yeah. into a Nerf ball or something and put the egg in there, I think. Yep. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Everything's nice and tight. You guys get this the shake test too? Sometimes, yeah. No? <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Perfect.
in our on our ASMR channel, I think we only have like one video of like just packaging, mm -hmm. and I thought it would do a lot better because there's a lot of people who say they they love the sounds of packaging or there's like, hey, can you do more of that? Yeah. And then it got like some of the least amount of views. Oh. I'm like, oh, the people asked for it, but yeah. There's so many different sounds, the <laughs> yeah. tape, the bubbles. Yeah, that was just surprising. And like the ones that I'm like, eh, I don't know about this one. That one will like pop off. It's <laughs> funny. Yeah, that's how, that's how YouTube works. It's a learning experience. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good Gonna work, put it Caitlin. Over here. Thank you. <laughs> so is this uh, where all the FedEx stuff is going? Um, yeah. Pretty much wherever it will fit, because there's so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I got. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have any though. <laughs>